Hello my beloved viewers, welcome back to Technical Portal YouTube channel on a new video of Microsoft Excel VBA that is Visual Basic for Application series that is running into my channel. Friends today in this video that is part 5 of this series we are going to learn how to work with the project window, how to add a new VBA module, how to remove a VBA module exporting and importing objects so watch this video till the end this is your host Pritham and you are watching technical portal youtube channel don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get all notification from my channel so let's start so in today's video our first lesson will be to work with the project window so let's get back to the excel worksheet where we will learn it so this is our macro enabled worksheet I am using the same worksheet so that will be easier for you to understand so here I have to enable the macro enable this content so let's press the keyboard shortcut that is alt and F11 to get back to the Microsoft Excel VBE Visual Basic Editor so here it is if you watched my previous video I have showed you that this is our project window where it is written that is project VBA project when you are working in the VBE each Excel workbook and add-ins that is open in a project here you can see it maybe you will get this type of scenario you can easily click on this plus sign to expand these options you can think of a project as a collection of objects arranged as an outline you can expand a project by clicking the plus sign here you may get at the left of the projects name in the project window collapse a project by clicking the minus sign it will be collapsed like this or you can double click on every items to expand them like this right if a project is password protected you are prompt for the password when you double click a project name I will show you that later in my next videos to how to password protect the worksheet and VBA programming if you don't know the password you can't expand the project which means that you can't view or modify any part of the project so every project expands to show at least one node called Microsoft Excel objects right like this you can see that is highlighted this node expands to show an item for each sheet in the workbook each sheet is considered as an object and another object called this workbook that is highlighted here which represents the workbook object if the project has any VBA modules the project listings also shows a module node that is here and as you find in part 4 a project may also contain a node called forms which contains user form objects I will show you that later which hold custom dialog boxes and the concepts of objects may be a bit fuzzy for you but don't worry things become much clearer in subsequent videos don't be too concerned if you don't understand what's going on at this point so let's get back to the next point of today's video that is how to add a new VBA module so let's get back to the excel workbook here so follow my steps to add a new VBA module to a project there are two way to add any VBA modules you can directly go to here insert and then go to module it will create a new module here or in another way you can click on any sheets or any project name then right click on that one then go to insert here you can also can add a module that is module 4 and I will show much more things of modules in my next videos I'm going through the beginning step by step so let's get back to the next point of today's video that is how to remove a VBA module 
let's get back to the excel workbook here we have created module 1 module 2 module 3 and module 4 and if you click on that one you can see that only in module 2 we have some VBA codes and and other modules are totally empty so there sometimes you will need to remove a VBA module from a project for example it may contain code that you no longer need or it's empty because you inserted the module and then changed your mind to remove a VBA module you can proceed in two ways that is one is go to the modules then right click on that module which you want to remove then click on remove module then it is asking for do you want to export module 1 before removing it click on no if you don't want to export it then it will be removed and another way is click on the module you want to remove then go to file here here you can see the option that is remove module and the module name right click on no if you don't want to export that it will be removed excel always trying to keep you from doing something you'll regret it will ask whether you want to export the code in the module before you delete it almost always you don't need that and if you want to export the module I will come back to the next point so let's get back to the next point and the next point of today's video is exporting and importing objects in a VBA module right let's get back to the Excel worksheet so every object in a VBA project can be saved to a separate file saving an individual object in a project is known as exporting it stands to reason that you can also import objects into a project exporting and importing objects might be useful if you want to use a particular object such as a VBA module or a user form in a different project or maybe you want to send a co-worker a copy of a VBA module which they can then import into their project so follow these steps to export an object select an object in a project window as I have told you before that everything you can see in the project window that is called a object so if you select any object then go to here file then export or you can also press the control plus E to export your modules or objects you get a dialog box that asks for a file name give the file name here as you want note that the object remains in the project only a copy of its exported excel provides the file extension for you and the extension depends on what type of project you are exporting in all cases the result is a text file if you are so inclined you can open it with a text editor and just take a look and how to import any file just follow the same way to import file go to the file and import file or you can press the control M it will be showed here and click on the file which you have already saved then click on open button it will be imported automatically you should import VBA object files only if you know who it come from otherwise you could be introducing macros that perform malicious actions so that's all for today friends i'll come back soon with the next part of this vba series please share this video with your friends who wants to learn microsoft excel vba from the beginning level share your opinion as well as your queries in the comment section till then keep learning keep supporting this channel and stay tuned